right? <laughs> we have flexion, abduction, internal rotation, right? So if I want flexion, abduction, internal rotation, all right, where do I start? Okay, extension, adduction. We know when we're testing adduction, we have to bring the opposite leg a little bit further away. Can you come a little bit closer to me? Right? We know we have to bring the opposite leg a little bit further away. <laughs> right? Flexion, what are we doing? Flexion, abduction, <laughs> internal rotation. You got it. Okay? And then we got to do extension, adduction, and ER. Okay? So it's coming here, and he's coming that way. When we're doing it passively, you remember, legs are heavy, okay? That's why every time I'm talking to you guys, I keep it closer to me. Like, you wanna keep it as tight as possible while I'm resting, okay? But with you guys, I wanna keep them as close to my body as possible. With the legs, it's sometimes okay, especially if you have a big leg and a little person, you can keep it as much close to you. Because remember, as much contact as you need, as little as you can, right? So for him, I'll be here, and if I get tired, I'm just gonna stay here, and I'm gonna go say, hey, let's rest your leg a little bit. <laughs> but it's me who really needs to be a little bit of break, right? So um, over here, flexion, abduction, interrotation, um, inter and then I come back over here and bring him there, okay? And I'm just moving with him as we go through. If I need to add resistance, I start here, push into my hand, <coughs> again, and I don't need a lot of resistance. So I'm gonna train him, I'm just gonna guide him where I want him to go, but I can put resistance push down, coming down, okay? It's the same thing, right? It's all repetition now, because now you get that custom with the patterns. So that, any questions about that? Let's practice that.